Hey guys, Rick Bell here and happy YouTube and today because we're going to start a little project. This is a 351 Cleveland going in a 70 Mach 1. And let me tell you a little bit about it before we go on because you may be interested in what I had to say. So stay tuned, hit subscribe because I'm going to do some follow-ups with answers and questions and stuff like that. And we'll see you here in a second. Now you're looking at a 351 Cleveland and I believe the block is uh, set up and uh, built for the 2V heads and that's what it has on it, 2V head. And this intake has a Edelbrock performer and it says LB351 2V. So basically a special intake that fits and the ports line up directly with the ports in the head so basically this engine uh is for sale and it's got a higher duration cam in it it's basically uh, i've got the numbers somewhere i put this uh high performance water pump on there it's so lightweight it is incredible compared to the weight of a cast iron i mean i'm old but it takes me two two hands to pick up a cast iron you can pick this one up with one hand it's it's like a quarter of the weight so this engine's got a new harmonic balancer on it it's not on there yet as it's just been kind of uh bolted together lightly so that uh make sure all the parts fixed uh, this motor will be torn down got a distributor uh coming in uh today and basically the block will be torn down and painted uh, whatever color you want it to be painted and even with the 2v heads this thing has been rebuilt uh, from stock from a stock motor and it's got a summit racing performance package put into it so new new cam bearings uh, crank bearings and it's got the original rods in it and the pistons are um, dish their ground ground down um, for the the higher duration cam so the valves won't hit the uh, hit the top so basically uh, it doesn't have a flywheel so you're going to need a flywheel and this is what i wanted to show you this motor has a bump four on there i'm not sure exactly what the bump four means or if this block uh is is does that mean it's uh a 4v block i don't think so because the heads are 2v the number for the heads is like 5613 i believe uh 55 53 12 53 12 and now that 53 12 is also uh right there right there 53 12 so this block goes with these heads these heads are matching heads and this isn't a roller rocker setup this is a regular uh, set up as a factory <clears throat> other than the Edelbrock performer and <clears throat> the heads have been rebuilt so I believe their original uh, setup on the the 2v heads and basically you got a high performance uh, oil pump in there with the with the new oil pan so looks like I'm going to need an oil filter and hopefully we'll get this up and running, but I wanted to preview this on YouTube and see if anybody was interested in it. Uh, basically, I can finish this uh, to your specifications. If you want to see numbers, let me know. This is a dual plane, so it's a, got one high floor, one, one low floor. Uh, then, now, this is recommended and built and specifically for the 2V351 Cleveland head. I wanted to tell you this 2V here, if you can see it, that indicates the two, uh, that it, this, these were two barrel heads, uh, and that bump means they're open chambers. And yes, these are open chambers. And it's not a problem if you're gonna add performance and, and make it a better engine. It's, it's great, in fact, you've got a, uh, you got lower, you got a better lower end on this than you would if it was a 4V head. 4V heads, uh, as you can see here, basically these are closed. Uh, this is a closed combustion chamber there. So, and these have uh, this these heads have been shaved twenty thousandths down, and then a 
the seats on the exhaust have been uh, ringed there so that you've got a better edge. And uh, these are these have been machined and they're ready to go. However, there's no. These have been ground down to where you can put uh, AFR or a uh, what do you call it uh, seven sixteenths set up on there for roller rockers and so that's a good thing but these heads are going for like a thousand dollars as it is right now and i was going to put them on this block but i've already got an engine with a <clears throat> with heads on it and so i'm going to make do with what i got this came with the project car the mach 1 and uh with this rebuilt uh, 351 Cleveland motor numbers match a Cleveland motor and uh, this uh, this actually is a uh, this piece right here is a steel um, setup what do they call that for it's a mountain the water pump on so you can tell if if, if you've ever seen one that uh, this is what it is and I got this on eBay and then cleaned it up and painted it so it's an original piece there. But I uh, need a thermostat. I was pointing over here. Thermostat housing and uh, of the distributors. Like I said, I can get that today. But if you guys are interested, anybody sees this, wants this engine, let me know. Probably make some offers. And uh, here's the Mach 1. So it's it's got the suspension already rebuilt on it. The whole front end on this has been... Uh, added so it's all new up front and I've been doing a little bit of body work on the car and as you can see it's uh, in the process of being restored I've got it on a rotisserie I took in the taking the nine inch forward rear end out from underneath it the leaf springs and it's sitting in the shed over there but the uh, body's here and once I get the, finish the body work on there and make it really, really clean and really straight, going to probably uh, put another couple of coats of uh, epoxy sealer on there to make sure everything's sealed and under, under wraps inside and out. And basically put the suspension and everything back under it and finish uh, getting it ready, putting it back on its wheels and then starting to rebuild it. So needs uh, two fenders a shaker hood and a grill and it's got a low it's got a dash inside uh, yeah it's got the dash inside so it's ready to be put back together it, this one had new floor pans put in it from the front there to the back back seat i believe somewhere right uh might be there at that hump Looks like it's uh yeah it's one piece floor floor pan all the way back to the back seat there. So this one here has had some the uh, lower quarters in the rear replaced. So I'm just going back over there and cleaning this up to make it to make it look good. This also this piece in the back for the tail lights is is a aftermarket piece that's been added. And uh, it had some dents and stuff on top that I've uh, gone in and uh, I've heat shrank the metal so that it got it a lot closer than what it, what normal people would just throw some filler on there. So as a ex body man and uh, mechanic, I can uh, I can do this stuff. And so that's the seventy Mach one. It's going to be for sale as well. And this engine and this car will be one unanimously uh i believe unless somebody wants to come along and purchase his motor uh so it's a rebuilt 351 cleveland 2v and uh like i said the carb it needs a carb and um i also was going to clean this uh 4v intake up uh, as you can see it's a uh, doa e so it's a 70 intake four barrel so it's uh this intake plus these heads if i can find a uh a 351 cleveland block i'll probably do me a stroker motor with this and uh put these 4v heads on there and 
actually I may not use these heads because they've got such a big uh, intake. I'll probably go to a, like a 3B where they've uh, re, re, remanufactured like an Aussie head and uh, get, get me a lot lower torque and horsepower on the low end and instead of the high end and uh, probably just sell these. So I've got these 4V heads that are ready to build. I've got the 4V intake there if someone needs one. If uh, And actually this uh, pan is for this. It's for this intake. As you can see how large these are. The, the intakes on that 2V are just like that. You know, they're, well, you can look at the size of these exhausts. Look at the size of these compared to those. I mean, these are small compared to. Take a look at these intake ports. <laughs> Sorry, exhaust ports. Those suckers are huge. <sighs> Yeah, way different than, uh, it's a little bit smaller on the exhaust, right? Uh, but still, oh, way bigger than that. Okay, if you have any advice uh, on this or suggestions, uh, feel free to comment below. And basically... Let me know what you think about this project, uh, what you would do, and uh, if you're interested in this engine, it's, uh, like I said, it's a performance, so it shouldn't get any pinging or any detonation. Uh, it's going to have a, a good distributor put on there that will keep that from happening, as well as the, the way it was built, so it should work out for somebody who wants a good engine at a good price. Had never been ran yet, so uh, probably going to be doing that in the next week or two, just to so people can hear it and see if they want to buy it. It's a long video here. Sorry for all the rambling. I'm that's what I am. I'm kind of a rambler. So uh, hope you guys liked the video and uh, like it and subscribe because I'm going to be doing more videos on this stuff. Uh, if you're interested in Fords and 351 Clevelands and uh, get together and chat a bit. Thanks for watching. Later.